I've been called here today by one of our customers because they noticed something a little untoward on their lawn. And when you get here, it's a bit more than untoward. I can immediately see it's a dry patch and I can show you now why it's dry patch. If we take a look at what's going on under the, uh, the surface of the grass in the soil. So here I'm just digging away and having a look at the soil underneath. And it's been raining this morning, and, but you can see that it's absolutely bone dry. I'm gonna take an area now that has some green grass growing, and that's over here. And now I'm just having a look, and there it's clearly obvious that this has moisture in this soil, whereas where I dug earlier, there's none. Now, dry patch is caused by a fungus in the soil, but it becomes most evident when you have prolonged period of dry weather, like we've had this year. The soil has a waxy coating that coats the particles of the soil, and thus if you chuck a bucket of water over it, the water goes sideways. So what we need to do to uh, alleviate this problem is to aerate the lawn, put lots and lots of holes in it, and then put a wetting agent on. Okay, so we're going to aerate today and I'm using 5.8 solid tines uh, on this machine and we're going to get a huge amount of holes in this lawn and what that's going to help do is get that wetting agent down into the soil profile. The fact that it's raining is actually a good thing today because once that wetting agent is applied, really we need to water it in to get the best benefit from it. Okay, so now we've aerated the lawn in two directions. The next stage uh, for this particular lawn, I'm gonna put down a soil conditioner. And you can see here, this is a, a lovely cow manure based product. Um, and it's very gentle, very subtle product, but it will help um, with the microbacterial activity in the soil. Um, just trying to get that generating and, and that helps the plant then feed out of the soil. Okay, so the next step, and we're again aided by the weather, we're going to put the wetting agent down, which is, a, in this occasion, I'm using a soluble wetting agent. You can use granular or, or uh, soluble. But I'm using soluble. Um, it's going to be helped by the rain getting into the soil. I'm going to put that into the tank and mix it up and then get ready to spray. Okay, so that's the remedial work completed on this dry patch lawn. Now what I'm going to do is speak to the client and ask them to profusely water this lawn and that's going to help get that wetting agent through into the soil profile where it can really get to work. Then in two to three weeks time I'm going to pop back and check on progress and then of course autumn is the aerate, scarify and oversee. This time last year this lawn was looking an absolute mess due to dry patch. We applied a wetting agent and we applied a soil conditioner and in the autumn we scarified it and aerated it. And now, I think you'll agree, the lawn is looking much better with a really thick sword. 